I was I was running all over the place trying to find my bag, but then it turns out it was just like right in the front bag. Yeah. yeah. So where are we going? Oh, today we're going on a journey to find Victoria's best bubble tea. Where we're we going yet? I'm not sure. We still have to look to see which are the top three rated bubble teas. But I think the the first one that has the the highest rating is the bubble tea shop in Chinatown. So that's going to be our first stop. And then we'll find out where the second place is and the second place we're going to try once we get there. Sound good? Sound good. Ah. stop was the bubble tea place located in Chinatown. Uh, I think this is the most popular and highest rated bubble tea place in the city. We got the bubble cup, or no, no, butter cup. We got a <laughs> butter cup, which is uh, a creamy bubble tea, which is uh, almond, mango, and pineapple. And we got it with pearls, of course, because why are you getting bubble tea if you don't have pearls? It's so windy right now. Apologies if you can't hear us. Okay, first sip. Here we go. It's pretty good. You good? Mm -hmm. Try. Yeah. It's really creamy. Yeah. It's not very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. The tapioca is like uh -huh. nice and chewy. And not Mango harsh. is my favorite flavor. And there's coconut in there. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. You can taste all the flavors very like subtly together. Mm -hmm. It's not like one overpowers the other. Yeah, yeah. this is a great spot. It's also mango, pineapple, and coconut, right? Yeah, mango, pineapple, coconut. The aesthetics of the place is pretty nice. It's chill in there. We got some like classic rock clam. There's a lot of people. I don't know, it's just kind of nice. You could chill in there if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Five bucks even. Oh, okay. For the small. For the small one. And then it was, uh, I don't know, six bucks or something for the bigger one, which is a little bit bigger. So the price is decent. Yeah. Price is decent, flavor is decent, atmosphere is good, and they have like a huge variety. Yeah. Right? So that's pretty good. Also, um, I'll just say some apologies to Becca right now. Because when she was here, she always told me her favorite bubble tea place is the bubble tea shop in Chinatown. And I always told her she was crazy because it's ran by white people. But I think I'm just getting, I'm getting humbled here because I kind of agree. It's really good. So. Yeah. Uh, we haven't figured out where the next spot is going to be yet. But uh, we'll see you guys. We'll introduce the next spot and we'll see you guys there when we get there. Okay. First things first, how's your mango shape? Very good. <laughs> it's very good. So they just opened Royal Tea. It's their grand opening this weekend, so we got twice to order. It's buy one, take one. So if you guys are in town, get this bubble tea right now. Well, this is not bubble tea. So, Phil ordered a... What did you order? A fresh boba. Yeah, it's a uh, brown sugar boba with yes. fresh milk. And then we found out that it was buy one take one, so we ordered a avocado shake because I love av avocado shake. But turns out they don't have avocado shake. They probably don't have avocados. Anyways, 
so I got a mango shake instead, but it's pretty good. The weight was kind of, um, there was a little weight, probably because the volume that they had to make for the orders, because it's buy one, take one. It took them a while, and they're still pretty new, so I don't think the makers of the bubble tea are an expert yet. But the place is pretty cool. They have this Instagram wall, which will you will see. You have the, it's very good for taking pictures, right? Taking good pictures for Instagram. And then, it's nice to hang out in there. It's chill. It's pretty cool. And look at their cups. They're just, they're, they're not just like plastic, like you know. There's those. These are like, do you call these? Reusable. And I don't know if they're gonna change it afterwards, but they, this looks expensive, right? And the price is not expensive. Probably like uh, 50 cents um, difference from the other place. A dollar more. A dollar more. But look at these cups. You can bring them every day. At school or at work or something. So, um, try the bubble tea then. Give it a go. Shake okay. it around the, on the bottom a little bit. Okay. Taste test it. So this is the fl this flavor is the one we ordered when we were in Taiwan. So this is like a throwback. But Phil said I did not like the, how it tasted back in Taiwan because he ordered Phil's ordered like 25% sugar. So when we ordered it here, they said it, they didn't they don't put sugar in it. So let's try. Well, because the uh, the bobas or the, the tapioca is, is cooked with brown sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you spilled it all over yourself, huh? I'll get you some tissues after. Mm, it's good. It's good, huh? It's good. Yeah? Oh, I like it. I like it. You like it? Let yeah. me try this here. Just like... Oh, this is like no... Mm. Just like plain, simple mm -hmm. brown sugar flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's just like brown sugar and fresh milk. Yeah. With the bubbles. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, it is really good. Why is it that you didn't like it in Taiwan? Because you're picky, I don't know. Uh, but this is good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Am I tree? It tastes different than like the Taiwanese version. Mm. This is more like milk. Yeah, with brown sugar and um, tapioca. Okay. I'll get you a tissue now. Okay. I'm fine. Do you want to try my mango? Sure. Okay, atmosphere, good. Price, good. A little bit more expensive than the last place, but it's a bigger cup. And the atmosphere is more nice. Atmosphere is nicer. Taste is good. Variety, not as much as the other place, but this place just opened, so. Mm. But we didn't ask if they have a different menu though, but I think they do, because when I saw their, when I took a look, take a peek at their kitchen, they have lots of stuff in there, lots, lots of food inside, which is not showcased in their menu though. Yeah, so maybe they'll expand <coughs> as yeah. the time goes on. <coughs> Sorry, that was so rude. Okay, see you at the next place. think it's here at Hillside Mall. That's where the address said anyways. We haven't been there, but we're gonna go check it out. And maybe while we're here, we're gonna get some food too, because we're hungry. Are you hungry? Not really, actually. I just thought you were hungry, so I was trying to be supportive of you. <laughs> We didn't do any like b-roll of like the products at all, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one is mango green tea with bubble, less sweet normal ice. Let's give this bad boy a go. Yeah, up here, up here. Get this money maker right here. It's um interesting. 
Let me try, let me try. Because it's not a milk tea, right? Okay. And the way they put the mango flavor is interesting. Show them. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. It kind of tastes like soap though. It tastes like, well, it's green tea. It's, it's mango green tea. Mm -hmm. So it definitely tastes like you're eating, um, you're drinking green tea. Yeah. And then look, they put these like, these little mango chunks, I guess. But really, it's like squishy peanut crumbs. Yeah. Is what it kind of feels Can we like. Try again? The flavor is very tea like. But it kind of tastes like soap because it has like that mango flavor in there. I don't like that. I'm sorry. Would I order this again? Probably not. <laughs> Do I yeah. mind drinking it? No, I, actually I don't. Yeah. It's okay. kind of refreshing actually. Yeah, it is actually, right? right? Yeah. Because we've been drinking like all the milk tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a different taste. Mm -hmm. For me, the first one won. Yeah. Maybe because I didn't I didn't see a lot of variety in the second place with like the loyalty. We didn't ask for like if they have a different kind of menu, like a um, menu board, right? We uh, just look at the menu board. We didn't see a lot of variety of their flavors for milk teas and stuff like that. Okay, then my pick of the three, I think, in terms of the flavor, um, it was nice to be able to get the fresh milk, brown sugar boba. Yeah. Just a very simple, very clean, refreshing kind of plain drink I guess right mm. the first place was good though I enjoyed the buttercup that was a great mm. that was a great bubble tea but loyalty also has cheese teas which is big in the city now and I feel like we have another video coming up where we're gonna be doing cheese teas doing cheese teas and it's so trendy right yeah. now where the bubble tea put the bubble tea place doesn't have those yet oh really yeah but if you want to chill and you know have some Instagram pictures or oh, the loyalty place is that yeah, nice it's way more modern. Chill place yeah. with an Instagram wall. Yeah, but either way, any of these choices. Well, if you're if you want to get like a tea tea, they're not gonna let you down really. Yeah. yeah. They know what they're doing. All the places we went to. Well, the two places we went to, the first and the Bolti place and Le Tea, are four and a half stars on Google reviews, and Loyalty just opened, so they don't have anything yet. Yeah. But anyway, go and check these places out if you're looking for some bubble tea or cheese tea, or like milk tea, or normal tea, whatever. It's a great. See you later, you savage.